What's up, everybody? This is Landon Medina here with Connections, and uh, I got two special guests in the house today. Uh, we got Juan and Seth, um, and I'm going to let them introduce you guys. I I don't think they need much of an introduction here, but uh, why don't you guys tell us what you do? Um, my name is Juan. I'm a chef here in Cheyenne, Wyoming. I run and own um, Los Conejos Food Truck and Micro Pop-Up Concepts, along with Seth. You want to say something about yourself? <laughs> yeah. uh, my name is Seth. I'm a local here in Cheyenne. I uh, moved back here a couple years ago and uh, helped open a restaurant startup about a year ago. And then me and Juan opened the Micro Pop-Up Concepts and Los Conejos Food Truck. Heck yeah. What restaurant did you help open up? Uh, we, helped, we worked at the Metropolitan. Okay, okay. I remember hearing that. Um, and you guys... Uh, at the Metropolitan, we're like, man, I think we can do a little food truck here. Um, I think we've always wanted to just do something on our own. You know, it's always the goal for me. And, yeah, and well, I, didn't mean, yeah. I didn't mean to make it sound like oh, you guys were at the Met and then went <laughs> to make the food truck here. But um, yeah, I think it's always been a passion of ours and, um, and a goal. Yeah, the COVID actually opened up a great opportunity for us to go from a regular job and uh, dive into opening up our own concept. Absolutely. I think, uh, you know, COVID hurt a lot of people, but I think it opened up a lot of opportunities for new things to come to light. Absolutely. Um, so how long have you guys worked in the food industry then? I've been in the food industry since I was 18. I uh, was part of the culinary team and stuff like that, trying to high school here in Cheyenne. And, oh, nice. Uh, they kind of got me a scholarship to go up to Jackson Hole, and I've just been kind of traveling around, working at different resorts and stuff ever since then for about 10 years now. No way. Yeah. That's got to be some pretty cool experience, huh? Yeah, yeah. I bet that was pretty fun. Oh, it was an awesome time. I bet. Well, congrats on that. Thanks. And how about you, Juan? Um, I've been cooking for a long time since I was uh, growing up, but uh, I started cooking more um, professionally and learning about the professional skill of culinary arts in high school as well. Um, I had a culinary program that I um, took my junior and senior year, um, and it was part of Skills USA, which I think Wyoming has their own version of that, or it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I went to college in, in Denver, uh, Johnson, Johnson Wells University there and um, started getting jobs at restaurants real quick. Um, I think it was just part of the something that you had to do um, to actually become a chef, you know, because mm -hmm. um, you would hear a lot of uh, the teachers tell us that uh, most of the students wouldn't really use their degree for anything. So I started working uh, at restaurants. Um, in Denver for Lee Swiggins uh, in Panzano, one of the best restaurants um, in Denver. It's been named best restaurant a lot of times. And she's she's been a great mentor to me even now. I reach out to her. Um, and then from there, I moved on to the Tag Restaurant Group, which has also been a great restaurant group to work for, George Guard there. Um, uh, also named best restaurant a lot, a fair time for Fair Show of Times as well. They have a, about 11 restaurants now. So I, uh, I I was really lucky to just fall into those uh, those positions. And obviously, I, I did my part um, to, to get the, those positions. But um, that really opened up the doors and moved up here to Cheyenne to open the Metropolitan along with um, Central Cafe and a couple other projects with that group. And okay. like Seth said, the, the, uh, the pandemic really kind of pushed us to go and, and figure out what we could do and it's been about a year now and it's been great. We love it. Yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I see you guys. Uh, so you guys, when I first saw you, I think it was at West Edge Collective. Mm -hmm. um, I think they were doing uh, the little uh, skate fest for Richard Johnson's right. little election campaign. You guys right. were down there. Um, was it scary opening up a business at the start of COVID? I think it's scarier now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We had a lot of, uh, we still have a lot of ideas, but we, when you're starting up, I feel like you feel like you can do anything. Mm -hmm. And once you're in the groove, you're a little bit deeper into what you have to do. 
Um, but we still have a lot of fun and we have a lot of ideas for the future and we're very hopeful. But but now we have a direction, I feel like, that we set for ourselves with nice. with our Los Conejos food truck brand. Okay. So, so tell me about that direction. What are you guys in those future plans for your food truck brand? Well, the Los Conejos uh, food truck is kind of like a street fusion hipster taco concept. Um, and it also has some cool local connections with our Jackalope logo and stuff like that. So pretty much with that, we're uh, geared towards uh, being Cheyenne's first hipster Mexican concept. Nice. And then right in that wave as, as well as the micro pop-up, which uh, kind of with our pre-order system kind of allows us to ride the wave of things shutting down, COVID happening, and the constant change. You know, we can dive between the food truck when people are out and events are happening and then the micro pop-up pre-order when, you know, things are shut down and right. people are wanting some sort of experience that we can bring to their home or in a COVID-friendly fashion. So now explain that micro pop-up concept that you guys have there. Because that's, that's different than the food truck. Yes, right? sir. Okay. So the micro pop-up concept is a concept that we originally started before the Los Conejos when COVID actually happened. Nice. And it um, is kind of like a, a incubator situation in which like it started with the pre-orders mm -hmm. and um, people, it's like online technolo technology and stuff like that. Online so, ordering, yeah. online payments during, during COVID. And... So it started with the pre-orders. We were doing one item a week, I believe, is what we started with. And we had this brand already um, that we had thought about um, prior to COVID. Mm -hmm. And it was because we wanted to start testing some of our ideas. So we came up with micro pop-up concepts or concepts that are to a micro scale. So if they don't work, you had fun. Hopefully you made some money. Um, you met some cool people. And then we can move on to the next concept. Um, so we started doing pre-orders and that went great and that's what we... So pre-orders like burritos, um, chocolate, like what so, do you pre-order? Uh, specialty items. So we've done jump, uh, not jump, uh, jerk chicken, we've done um, tacos, we've done poutine, um, and we've, we've done ramen, um, pho. So we changed the menu a lot for that because we have the opportunity to test different items with that uh, concept so so you cook a big batch and then you order or give it up for pre-orders on the sales right yeah so we and sell it until that batch is gone and then it's on to the next uh well we announce it first okay. so usually we do about two weeks or a month in advance and for example we our most recent ones were for valentine's day we had a spanish tapa experience i think it was more over the over nine tapas that we served and our guests could take these home and lay them out in their kitchen and basically have a restaurant style tapa experience in their house. Nice. Okay. And we did one for Valentine's Day and um, we just changed those up depending on what's coming up. We kind of developed from more simple ones that were chef driven and stuff that people can't access in this area, you know, and providing like an item that's, you know, there's a demand for. And it kind of built up to some really cool ones like the Spanish tapas was an awesome one. Right. And then we also did our. 24 karat golden burger which was like pretty much the pinnacle of our right. of our pre-orders and that was a, a kobe beef burger with all types of very selectional items you know, hundred truffles year old, yeah truffles hundred year old balsamic 24 and karat gold um shishito peppers it was very nice oh, sauce. Wow. it was awesome right. okay so now is that then that's cooked or that's like pre like pre-cooked ready rock so How does that work? Pretty much we pick out, out items that we think that there will be a demand for. You know, then we launch them online and, you know, advertise them for, for them ourselves. Okay. And then uh, yeah. people buy them on our website. The beauty of it is that it can be pre-cooked or not cooked or anything because it's just an online experience that we're creating. Uh, Chef-driven most but, of the time. But it could be a selection of olive oils, for example you can take home and try with bread. So it's semi-cooked or not cooked. Um, 
it's also not limited to food either. That's why the micro okay. pop up concepts does not include any like sort of food item as well. We're chefs, so that's kind of what we do first. And you know, but we have a lot of ideas we're bursting with ideas. Yeah. No, and, and I love that. And you guys seem like you're putting those ideas in place. You know, a lot of people can have ideas, but to back it with the work. Yeah. You know that that's what change. That's what separates. I think it has a lot to do with the partnership as well, because mm -hmm. where I lack, he comes in and, and vice versa. And, uh, we kind of mellow each other out sometimes or hype each other up when we need to. Um, but it, it really has to do a lot with that, I would say. Which is that, absolutely. Having someone with the same mentality mm -hmm. um, and the same goal. You know, I always preach, you know, if we're all trying to build a car and you're a wheel, just be the best damn wheel you can be. Exactly. Try and be the steering wheel, the trying to be the engine. <laughs> You will. Yeah. You know, so that's uh, it's really cool to, to see that you guys have that, you know, how you can play off each other's strengths and weaknesses and use that for your advantage in your business. Yeah, it's been great. It's something to be proud of for sure. Um, I think I heard uh, once that, you know, if you have one artist, you come up with one thing, and if you have a second artist, that's a different thing. And if you combine them and have them work together, that's something that neither of them could have imagined that could they could have made. So, that kind of always comes back to mind when we're having struggles or um, just idea differences or just planning for, for our goals. Which happens. Yeah, and it happens. happens. It always happen, you know. For sure. Uh, it, it's just like when you're kids, you hang out with your buddy, do mom, you know, he spends a few nights in <laughs> your house and you're like, mom, can you go home yeah. yet? <laughs> or cousins or yeah, yeah. brothers. Or <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who's around too <laughs> So that's cool that you guys are able to see that from a bird's eye view and kind of put your own feelings aside for a minute and see what's best for the business in the future. For sure. And uh, and I would I would suggest keep rocking with those new ideas. You know, COVID has already changed the game and mm -hmm. is going to continue to do so from here on now. Exactly. So if you guys, you know, these these seem like new ideas for bigger cities. Like, you know, they seem like they'd be kind of hip in Denver right now. For so sure. if you can bring something like that to Cheyenne, you know, I believe you guys are going to be pioneers in that industry. I, I believe so, too. Thank you. I think uh, technology is big here in Wyoming and Cheyenne right now. Mm -hmm. And um, hopefully that could just help us and bring people here and people who are hungry for what we got. Absolutely. Well, thank you, fellas, for joining on the podcast here with me. Um, can you tell us real quick where we can find you across all your platforms? Yeah, you can find us at Los Canales, Cheyenne, Wyoming on Instagram or Facebook. And then you can find us at Micro Pop Up Concepts on Instagram or Facebook or micropopup.com. Perfect. Now, will you guys, um, do you guys have a schedule of where your food trucks can be throughout the summer? Yes, we try to have an updated schedule every week because right. events come up. Um, some we do have already set for the summer, but the easiest way to see our schedule is to visit micropopup.com. Micropopup.com. Yes, sir. Okay. You can see the schedule first thing that comes up there, and you also have links to our Los Canelos food truck, and you can see our menu there. And the schedule is for all of our concepts, so anything that's happening for our brand, you can find there. Perfect. Um, TJ and Brandon, when you guys are watching this back, um, will you please add those links that these guys, that these guys just talked about um, to the description in this video? Um, those are our guys that help us with the video editing. If I don't say it now, my brain, <laughs> I'll forget it. So, um, Thank you guys for joining us. Um, I would love it if you guys would come to the Connection Center at some point this summer, and I'll uh, get a whole bunch of people here for you and turn on some music and uh, let you guys sell some tacos. Yeah. Sounds fun. Awesome. Yeah, we well, love that. Well, uh, thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, thank you guys for coming on our show. This will be airing here in a couple of days after it gets edited and everything, but uh, really glad to have you guys in, and we'd love to have you back whenever you, whenever you want. You're more than welcome. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks for having us. We appreciate it. Right on. Everybody have a good day. Thanks, Connection.